Yes. It is maybe a very stupid association, but uh, when he was singing, uh, it uh, looked to me like uh, uh, in, an image of uh, madness, and it uh, reminded me. Uh, I I uh, I know it's very stupid because it's about Belgian Congo, also, but heart of uh, darkness, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, the same problem of uh, ambiguity uh, of uh, the white mis missionaries and. Uh, people who uh, cannot change the, the world so they go mad or something like that. So yeah, but in that, yeah, like in Heart of Darkness and then, of course, the, and, and the film uh, 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 by, by Coppola. Is, but there you have this, this insanity and this madness what make, but here you have, you don't have the, this kind of, of madness, of course. Yes, this, it, is, it was just uh, Yeah, um, this association you, you made in, uh, yeah. Uh, so I understand the, understood it uh, as if he's uh, trying to recall something like this. So I don't know. I think uh, for sure because he had a lot of a lot of critic critics and a lot of there was a lot of controversy mm -hmm. you know, about among this film, uh, also at the documentary film festival, and uh, he. Um, Because also in, in Dutch Belgian uh, documentary tradition, uh, we still have a lot of, uh, for example, we have a very, very good documentary maker who is, uh, his name is Thierry Michel, and uh, he has made uh, fantastic but very critical documentaries about Congo, like uh, Mobutu, Roi du Zaire, uh, Congo River, and then his last one, Katanga Business. And it is really like on the exploitation level. And uh, how now the Chinese, for example, what they are doing in Katanga, they have to taken over the position of the old colonies and uh, in another way, but uh, it still goes very badly for, for African people. Uh, but what is concern is, of course, is the question of the, the representation and, uh, and uh, the dilemmas and um, uh, because in his um, in his viewpoint, he said there are already a lot of documentaries focusing on the exploitation. Uh, problem is always, of course, that uh, who sees who sees <laughs> the, these these kind of films because television no longer. Um, perhaps only Arte and, uh, and late in the night or, uh, uh, but like television is, also in Belgian public television is so formatted that the documentary that is longer than one hour, you, you can't show it anymore on television. It's, uh, it's such a, it's, it's a shame, I think, for, for public television for sure. Um, and, uh, and another thing I wanted to to say um, ah yeah what um, what Renzo Martins all also wanted to uh, wanted to 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 focus on was that um, he said, when I'm, when I'm focusing on this problematic, this ambiguity, uh, the contradictions uh, that, that he considers like poverty is a, is a, is a, is a resource for, for Africa, that when he asks the, the question to the World Bank man, uh, yeah, we have there 1.8 billion of dollars in human aid, it's, it's more than, than the, 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 the benefits of cobalt and copper and gold together. Um, that in, in, in saying this, in showing these, these problematics, he was, of course, very provocative and he wanted to re, uh, reinstall, in fact, a link between between art, 
between art. That's why I said in the beginning and in the introduction, he's an, he's an artist and also a performing artist. The link between art and uh, open uh, political viewpoint and, and a critical viewpoint on, on society. And uh, when he got all the commotion and all the critics about this film uh, just in his face, he, he replied also that, yeah, um, suddenly when there is an artwork, uh, what is revealing and what is pointing out some of the problems in society, suddenly uh, everyone and critics and journalists and uh, they are uh, shocked and they say oh, yeah, you can't do the ethical codes they are transgressed and, uh, and everything and, and uh, contemporary artists they go on for exhibitions and uh, they are uh, well known and for me it was quite it was very also good um, uh, it was intriguing and it is provoc provocative in the sense that you're it, it's open to, to discussion, to reflection. We have for this moment, uh, for example, Belgian artists, contemporary artists who are, who are so famous, who had uh, exhibitions in the uh, Tate Gallery, in the MoMA in New York. We had even Jan Fabre, I, know, I don't know if you know him. He is the first living artist who got uh, a personal exhibition in the Louvre in, in Paris. And uh, when I saw I know their work, but there is, oh, you can say, if you would do some ana analysis and interpretation that goes deep, deep, you will find, of course, this relationship with society. But this film uh, reinstalled like um, a more explicit link uh, with, uh, with society, with societal problems, and uh, didn't, um, didn't cover the... the, the, the the paradoxes, the ambiguities, and uh, I felt it like a really very interesting, uh, nevertheless ambiguous um, but confronting experience in seeing the film. Uh, uh, there were other artists that uh, society. We have our work, and uh, that's it. And uh, but here you have the re-establishing of a kind of relationship that there can be, and there sometimes must be, I think. But this is a personal opinion. Do you have other remarks or, or, or 